This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discovery course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 7, Sprite Movement, Part 3. The Counter Pattern. Increasing or decreasing numbers is common and incredibly useful in pattern programming. This counter problem can be used to make an image fly across the screen, to count down a timer, or keep track of clicks. Used with a variable x to count up by 1, the counter can look like this. x equals x plus 1. Notice those are two separate blocks, right? They've dragged in a addition block inside the uh, equals block, I guess. Every time this code is run, it will take the current value of x, add 1, and save that as the new value of x. While this particular instance of the counter pattern uses addition, you could also subtract you could also use subtraction to count down. Movement with counter problems. With cap counter pattern. Oh yeah, so adding two, adding two to y, moving them across, I see. All right. Uh, the above code uses the counter pattern in a draw loop, yep, to move three sprites. Notice that each of the three sprites moves differently depending on whether you update the sprites x, y, or both. Other uses for the counter problem. Any block that takes a number as, a, as an input could be animated using the, pattern, the counter pattern in the draw loop. Take a look at the following examples, each of which uses the counter pattern to animate a different aspect of the image. Below, each image is an example of code that was used inside the draw loop to produce the animation. Okay, sprite dot sprite rotate. Oh. Okay, and so these are all counting up, even this property. Find a bug? Nope, we didn't. Interesting. Okay, well, let's keep uh, going.